Hi, it's National Night Out, August 2nd, 2022, on South Park and Church Street with our first responders, those who protect and serve, and other people. Come along with me, I'm Robin Woods, as I walk around, explore, and find people to talk to. I'm here with Bill Herlock, our first ward representative and deputy mayor for the township of Montclair. And we're doing our annual bench sit interview. And he's going to bring us up to date about what's happening in the uppers and the middles and the lowers and all around town. And go, Bill. Great. Thank you, Robin. It's always a pleasure to be with you at this great event. We've got a good turnout. We got good weather again this year. A little bit of a breeze coming through. I, I put the sports jacket down. I hope this is okay for, for the show. But we've got a lot of going on in town. We're very fortunate that there are many things afoot. We have a very resilient township population. We've coming through the COVID pandemic, hopefully, for the last time, but I really, you know, it's amazing, Robin, how many ribbon cuttings that we've done in the last two years, even with the pandemic. It really is a testament to the resilience of the Montclair population, and I'm proud to be a part of that and to continue those traditions and look forward for many great things to come in the next year. We've got, uh, hopefully, the Bellevue Theater is coming back online very shortly, and we've got a lot of new businesses coming into town. And we're looking forward to uh, continuing to serve in the second half of uh, our current term as town council members. Thank you. Well, I'm here with Chief of Police Todd Conforti of Montclair Police Department, who he's here to talk about what's going on in the department, things that are happening in the summer and other months of the year. How are you doing, Chief? Doing great. Doing great, Robert. Okay, so tell us more. Okay, great. Uh, to start, uh, about a little bit about National Night Out, I think it's a great opportunity for the public to come out, meet with some of the officers from the different units and hopefully walk away with a better understanding of some of the things we do. And you mentioned what's going on. We have a few things I'd say over the last year that are worth talking about. Starting with the department was re-accredited by the New Jersey State Chief of, of Police Association after we updated all our policies to reflect the best practices in law enforcement. I have to say I'm very proud of this accomplishment to achieve this status and I have to definitely recognize Sergeant Charlie Cunningham for all the work he did on it. He's the accreditation manager and works very hard on making sure that we meet the standards. The second area I would say, last year we spoke a little bit about transitioning over to the body cameras. Now all officers are wearing body-worn cameras, which will give an unbiased um, recorded account of the incident, which should help with transparency, accountability. It'll resolve complaints much sooner and hopefully build towards public trust. And then the last thing, unfortunately I have to mention this, due to the horrible incidents we've seen around the country with mass shootings, the department has continued its active shooter training and actually stepped up our training so that all officers are better prepared. And I, I would just close by saying we're always going to strive to be the most professional department we can and bring the service that this township deserves. But I do want to thank all the men and women of this police department for all the work they do every day, keeping this community safe. I hope whoever comes out here this evening has a good time, enjoys themselves, and gets a chance to meet with some of the officers. Thank you. So real quick, before you go to fire truck, right? Yeah, they love this. Now I need everybody to understand. Most people see firemen with this stuff on, and they think it's fireproof. There's no such thing. 
This particular coat only gives you 17 seconds. Oh. It only was? It's not a lot of time. So I have to find somebody with some water. It's only fire resistant. So there's a difference. When people say fireproof, there's no such thing. It's only fire resistant. So I have, I have two layers, all right? This layer and this layer. You see this layer right here? See how it's different? This is all that protects me. Now, if it gets through this, this is fire resistant. But not if long. it gets through this and it gets through this, I'm not going to have too much time. I'm here with Montclair Fire Department firefighter Kevin Green, who's going to talk to us about the works of Montclair Fire Department and perhaps some things to think about for the summer. Well, uh, good afternoon. I, I'd like to welcome everybody to, uh, to Night Out in Montclair. Uh, my name is Kevin Green. I've been on the job for 29 years, soon to be 30. Uh, I'm going to do probably one more year, if all goes well. Um, essentially, um, I've, uh, I've been on the job for a while. I've seen it all in Montclair. It's, it's one of the best departments in the state. I couldn't, think, I couldn't think of a better department to be a part of, and uh, I'm just happy to be here. I'm here with Montclair Fire Department Chief John Herman, and we're with the fire truck that's celebrating its first birthday this year because you previewed it to us last year. So, Tell us what's going on in the fire department. Yeah, well, it's hard to believe a year's gone by already, and um, yeah, the truck's a year old already. It served the township well, served our firefighters well, and uh, we're glad to be back here again and uh, thankful for Chief Conforti's uh, invitation to us. They do such a tremendous job, and we're glad to be part of National Night Out. So it's good to be out in the community, meet everyone, have them, give them a chance to see the fire truck and ask any questions they may have. So. We're glad to be here. It's a nice and, and I do have to thank you that you helped to save Ruthie's huh, barbecue yeah, and yeah, pizza. Yeah, that yeah. that was something that was noticed by the police department. Yeah. yeah. Fortunately, uh, we get to uh, incidents very quickly the way we're distributed throughout town. Our uh, firefighters did a tremendous job and, uh, you know, kept their, uh, a lot of damage from happening. So uh, we're fortunate and uh, they do a great job day in and day out. We're really thankful for them. And Kevin Green said you're just back to almost normal now. Like almost well, we're getting there. not pandemic anymore, yeah, right? So we're, we're getting there and um, you know, it uh, was a tough stretch there for a while, but again, everyone came to work every day, did what they had to do and um, it was certainly a difference for us, of course, and for the rest of the world. But, um, yeah, we're coming out of it, and everybody uh, still continues to do a great job. I was just wondering, how many years have you been with the fire department? Uh, I've been uh, 41 now, so, yeah, they go pretty quick. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining yeah. us. Yeah. You look as young as the truck. <laughs> And I'm here with my fave, Peter Iacobellis, counselor at large from the Montclair Town Council. Go. You heard that, favorite, favorite. <laughs> so tell us, bring this up to date. What's happening around town? What isn't Maybe? happening around town? Well, tell us. I'm going to say growing pains. We have growing pains as a community. Um, look, there's a lot going on, but we're, oh, we're making. I'm fully grown. Talk for yourself. <laughs> We're making significant investments in infrastructure, and some of it's frustrating and slow, but I think, you know, at the end of the day, we've got real issues with wars and supply chain issues and inflation, and it's slowing things down. But, you know, by the end of the year, we're going to have a brand new Midtown parking deck open. We're going to have all these renovated parks. You're going to have Bloomfield Avenue completely redone. You know, things that the people have been asking us for for a long time, you know, we're making those investments in. And the stuff that people don't see either, investments in water and sewer infrastructure. Don't sell yourself short and don't apologize, because we will find something to complain about. <laughs> Not a day goes by that somebody doesn't complain about something that comes to the territory. But I also get a lot of thanks and compliments and things that I really appreciate as well. Um, so look, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of new people to Montclair. So 
I want to just encourage everybody to get out and about and meet new people, say hi, welcome people to the town, and be patient with new people, be patient with us. There's a lot going on, but it's a good, it's a good time to be in Montclair. And I'm glad you made it back from Delaware. Thank you, yes, me too. I'm here with Matt Platkin, Attorney General for the state of New Jersey. And you know what? I think maybe you should tell people what an Attorney General does. Well, thanks for having me, and it's great to be here on National Night Out when our communities and law enforcement can really come together and interact in such a fun and productive way. Um, and as the Attorney General, I'm the Chief Law Enforcement Officer in the state, uh, so I have the privilege of working with the sworn men and women up and down our state who keep us safe, and that's an incredibly humbling and rewarding responsibility. Uh, I'm also a resident of Montclair, so like this that. is this is my community and my family's community, and I love being out here with our uh, local police officers. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with officer or detective? Detective. Detective. And Jeanette Sanders, who does what with the Montclair Police Department? I'm the school resource officer with the Montclair Police Department. Explain to us what does a school resource officer do? A school resource officer is an officer assigned to the schools to work in the schools with the students to guide them along with the administration. And tell us about this year's Operation Backpack. This year's Operation Backpack is going to be held on August 28th. It's going to be held at Lackawanna Plaza from 12 to 4 p.m. And I believe it's different this year because you're just collecting backpacks, not the supplies. Do I, did I get it right? We're going to be giving away backpacks and school supplies, and everything is going to be free. We still are partnering with many partners around the community to help us to ensure that each student gets what they need to go to school in September. We're giving away the National Child Identification Kit. We are giving away Frisbees. Yes, yes, yes. these are fingerprintings, yes, for, any, for kids that you can actually, if your kids ever get lost or missing, this is what you need and you can use that to find them. We have Frisbees and Pencils, pens, water bottles, bracelets, slap bands for your arm, and we have a lot of literature uh, for parking and um, fraud identification protection. I'm here with Jonathan Pryor, EMS supervisor from Montclair ambulance unit and please tell me that you haven't noticed the lovely what do we call these little annie resuscitation dolls or mannequins little annies well please tell us more about the wonderful thing that the ambulance unit does so uh, our resuscitation mannequins or our how i teach as the education supervisor our cpr and first aid classes so we offer a slew of classes through a bunch of different programs whether it's american heart association or ASHI, which is the American Safety and Health Institute. Um, we do basic first aid, wilderness first aid, emergency medical responder, bloodborne pathogens. You name it, we can teach it. Um, I'm the contact for all that fun stuff. I have a slew of instructors that I have under me that love going out into our community. We do a lot of other things for the township. We have a lovely sin mannequin who has how we train our staff to go out into the public and help save you guys. I just wanted to ask you, do you uh, have um, classes where you teach this? At, where, where are those at the ambulance unit? So, we do have classes that we do go out into the public. Um, you would find them at MontclairEMS.org. Uh, we actually come to you guys. As of right now, we can't teach within our station due to COVID. But we provide the instructors, the mannequins, and the instruction materials, along with anything else that we need to teach. Uh, we come to you, and most of our courses run anywhere from two to three hours. Thank you. I'm here with Officer Colum Higgins, Community Service Unit, who organized National Night Out this year and is also one of our Community Service Unit officers. 
Hi, Officer Higgins. Can you tell us something about the event? Uh, how, the significance, how it came to be? So National Night Out is uh, a specific time of the year designated for us to get be able to come out to the public and uh, show off some of the equipment that we have and, you know, uh, have interviews like this and meet other members of the public. Uh, the members of the community can come out and speak to officers they may not see or sometimes uh, members of the public only deal with officers when they might be going through some kind of crisis or uh, a car accident or anything like that. Uh, so it's nice to be able to meet on a level playing field and uh, just have a nice friendly talk. Thank you for uh, keeping the weather nice. Yeah. It's not always that easy. The sun moved behind those clouds at just the that? right moment. But uh, anything uh, people should know about the community service unit other than what uh, Tyro Williams calls the softer side of policing? The friendlier, you know what I'm saying? Oh. I think what you said that people know you not necessarily in times of stress. Yes, that's correct. Uh, one of my main jobs is to go out there and meet people, like you said, where it's just a, an, a random encounter uh, at a store or uh, a public event. Uh, we hold coffee with a cop event. Do you have any more of those planned, coffee with a cop? Uh, we don't have any specific dates, but there will be some planned uh, in the future. Look forward to seeing you. Thanks, Thank Officer you. For your listening and watching pleasure, with my favorite vehicle in the world, which I hope one day they'll let me ride, but that's never gonna happen. I'm here with the head of the Community Services Unit, Lieutenant Tyrone Williams, who's gonna tell us everything about the unit and give us a demo of how to use this. Why, thank you, Robin. Greetings everyone, I am Lieutenant Williams of the Montclair Police Department where I command the Community Service Unit and I also command the Juvenile Aid Bureau. In the Community Service Unit, our job is to actually be the ambassadors of the Police Department where we go out into the community and forge relationships and address community concerns and try to work collaboratively with citizens, businesses, and residents to try and come to a resolve with any concern or problem that they may encounter. And that brings us to how we get here to National Night Out, which is a nationwide uh, event on the first Tuesday in August across the nation. We celebrate public safety and community where we come out and you get to meet police, fire, in our case, police, fire, ambulance, um, health department, usually animal control, all of the public safety entities within the township so that you can meet people up close and personal, get to see some of the equipment that we use and get any questions answered that you might have regarding public safety and the public service in the township. So we once again want to thank you all for joining us. Thank you for this opportunity to put this on for our township. And always, Robin put me on the spot. She says I got to come by in my fancy vehicle that she wants to take from me so that I can be interviewed. But it's always a pleasure because we love this young lady. Yeah. All right. Pop some wheelies for us. <laughs> Thank you everyone for coming out. Here with Noah Gale at National Night Out, August 2nd, 2022. You'll be hearing more from him and about him. Good night, folks.